Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create Google Earth client ID and the client secret. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So here, first of all, you have to go with the Google Cloud Console. After this, you have to go for, for creating a new project. Okay. So here we have the new project, right? So if I go just back here, if I just switch this account, so which account I am using any account you can say that this account so here we have the create project okay so let's going to create a project over here so let me google login make this google login okay after this go with the organization create okay so it's creating the project Select project. Okay, so if you go with the here, let's go to the API and services. Okay, it come over here. Let's go to the auth consent screen. <coughs> First, we have to set up this one. Okay, so external so that anybody can use it, create. So here we require the app name. So add any of the app name like Google login. I will put. Okay. Now user support email. So I will add my. Yeah, you can add this. Okay. Moving to the next app logo. If you want to upload, you can upload. Next step. That is app domain. If you want to restrict that one, you can add the policy link, homepage and everything you can add authorized domain so i can you if you have then you can add it email address to developer so i will add it on mine developer with gmail.com okay and here we go with save and continue error the request has been as uh, class one is not allowed to proceed request id close why it says that let me check error is no 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 view of this save and continue request has been classified as abusive request why so here we can add that next authentication i don't know why they are showing showing something Let's scroll down. Let's add the domain here also. If we go with localhost, private domain, let's delete it. Save and continue. I think that's the reason here um, I have added the Google login, might be. That's the reason. Scope. So, what exactly I required. So, add and re remove scopes. So, user info profile and open id are required so update this one this all scopes are required okay and save and continue just click on save and continue the scopes okay and here we have the test users if you want to add the users so any user we have magento developer 1993 at the gmail.com if you want then you can add otherwise it's no issue on that okay so just save and continue okay just to review the information okay and back to the dashboards that means everything is done okay so let's go and check this one publishing no right now we don't require let's go to the credentials now okay then create credentials go to op auth open id right so here we will retrieve the two cli uh, client id and the client secret so we have a web application right so web client id okay we don't require this then save this one auth client id is created so here you can see that client id and the client secret is there or download the json right here you can receive that i will copy this and i will use in the next video for that one okay 
so here we go with my client id and the client secret i required for the retriever for the google login so this is done right so this is how we are able to get this one okay any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day